to point out that the elven bourgeoisie is just fireballing poor human peasantry. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I, uh, sue me. <laughs> that was a noble, by the way. I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> Oh, so, this is weird. Uh, too, apparently, we are back. I can't like the dashboard is is just giving me a black circular. No, 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 no. We are back as far as I can oh. see. Sorry about that, people. I don't know how OBS is gonna do, how Twitch is gonna do this. If it's gonna put it all in one video, just with a black screen bit of death. I but... that. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. First of all, what I'm gonna do. And that doubles. I know, but here's the thing, though. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reroll off that shit because I have fortune points. Oh, for fuck's sake. Second oh. of all, rolling a one, a one, and a three. Fuck you. <laughs> I actually rolled three ones if you look at the fury. Mm -hmm. If you count the fury, that's three ones. Where's that dar magic? Hey, you I'm always use dar magic. You always use dar magic. The, the, Where's that? This is a fireball. This is a tiny spell. This is not fires of Azu. Oh, whatever the mm. fuck it's called. There you go. I'm oh, gonna okay. make a lot of noise. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So roll I'm me. going to be re-rolling the seven with the... With my raven power. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm going to cast Dar Magic to re-roll my seven. Into an eight. That's a two. I still succeed, and I have no negatives. No, you know, I don't proc anything. <laughs> mm. Fucking bomb the building. You can't, you can't get away with this this time. <laughs> the elf artillery mm. strikes the building while the noble and the peasant are inside. You should be aware of this. This isn't one of my big spells. This is the tiny spell. Yes. So, um, you're just firing at the building. Willy if I can see, sure. if I can see yeah. any mutant, I'm, I'm going to be casting at a mutant. If I can't see a mutant, I'm going to be one d hundred. You, you, you can't uh, see, you can't see any mutants. Uh, uh just, just to confirm. Dealt forty-one damage. There is nothing small about that. <laughs> it, it is small. Uh, which floor one d, was one d hundred? You know he's on the top floor, not accepting the roof, and uh, not uh, accepting the. Uh, not including the room. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cast at the wall that he is in, or the wall that I just saw Sarah run through. I'm going to cast it more to the side, but D100? Yes, 1D100. <laughs> Sorry. Can I roll that if it's bad? No. no. Um, Actually, so, fuck it. Sarah, uh, there is just this loud boom, 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 boom on the side of the building. The building rocks ever so slightly um can you roll me a 1d 10 yeah a 1d 10 as uh, rubble falls from the ceiling and you were hit by it you take four damage i don't i have nine folk yeah <laughs> jesus that was nice, Sad sadly i did say this was a, a big building a big stone mm. building, so yeah, some 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 wooden bits and bricks fall on you, but you're just like, yeah, fuck it. Never mind. Then Ragnar runs in um, after the explosion, shouting out something about stupid finger wigglers. Uh, he gets onto the <laughs> staircase with you, Sarah. He's there with his hellbird out. Um, can't really do much because he's he's on the staircase. You would now. hear shouts of agreement. Um. Uh, Durin? Albie, what was your other character called? Brunden. Brendan. Or Brunden. Brunden. Brendan. Uh, you're up. <laughs> Let's follow Betty. Brenda. <laughs> I think, to be honest I with you, unless you... What's your movement? My movement is probably the same as I was letting you... Check a second. My movement is four. Okay, so yeah, you can get onto the staircase where there's a line of you now. I go into the queue. I don't have tea with me. 
<laughs> I'd take a number and join the queue. Carla, you were up. If it's stupid, but maybe it works. No You've got about chance. five minutes before your spell wears off. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm banking on. As the crow flies. I can fly now. Okay. So I want to fly up to the floor on which presumably the Sigrik is and assist him in combat. Sure. Uh, you can fly up. The hole is big enough for you to fit through um, the hole that goes through uh, one, uh, two of the walls of the building. Um, sure, you can. So, Cedric, you basically see a uh, a winged angel, a small child with great wings, fly up to the hole <laughs> and come through. It's very beautiful. It's very, it's very uh, humbling. I'm, I'm not scared. <laughs> This, this young child has kind of been following us and I haven't said much about it yet. There's just suddenly sprouted wings and flying up towards me. <laughs> Hang on, I need to roll a 1d100 to see. I'm going to say it happens. Um, as she gets to the hole in the, in the wall, the light outside seems to brighten for a short, short, for a short moment, just illuminating her in this glowing light. <laughs> the bright blue eyes as well. <laughs> glowing blue eyes. <laughs> This is... Also, do remember that there, there are fireworks behind her. <laughs> oh, okay. Fear not. I'm watchful. Okay, so the brute. The brute is going to make a willpower test. I have to spend my rerolls on this, but no, I am happy. <laughs> He fails, so the brute uh, stands there dribbling for a moment. Uh, mutant number two. I think it was mutant number two. No, it was mutant number one, because there is mutant and mutant number one, because that's how I list things. Uh, I thought it was mutant three. Mutant three yeah, uh, was the one he killed. No, mutant three was, was, a, was a special one. No, you oh. killed mutant. I killed mutant. Uh, there was mutant one, mutant two, mutant three. I, that must be. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, and there's a, a brute. Um, so yeah. the mutant that was just going up the staircase uh, now turns around, uh, and you just hear this as he almost goes blurry. Um, as thousands upon thousands of flies just take up from his body. And begin buzzing round, but he Ew. too is—he too is like looking down the staircase, like, "What the fuck?" Oop. So it takes no actions. There is a minus ten to hit uh, both the mutants now. Oh, oh, he has that mutation. Oh God, he has flies that have tiny little head like him. A nice one though. Uh. Trick. Yes. You are up. Um, There's now an angel child next to you. Yes. I'm a little confused. Uh. Hmm. Can I shut over? Can you get to the second floor? With me. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can fly. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run. No, there's no hole on the second. As far as you've seen, there's no hole. Well, there's the windows, right? There are windows, but these are medieval style windows there. Oh, okay. And this is a building that has wealth in a poor area, so they're more like slit like windows. Uh, Carla okay, okay. could probably squeeze through, but you would. Actually, you're quite skinny and slim, you so. Could, I imagine it. Still fly up this staircase faster than I could run up it, so 
the staircase is awfully crowded at the moment, and you may take some opportunity of attacks. Mm. Mm. Uh, hang on. You could you could attempt to fly him down, um, because it's not that high up, and yeah, I'd give you that wings would slow your descent enough. Um, do, do, do you want to leave? Mm, no. I'll, uh... You could probably run over to the top of the staircase in one action. Yeah, I'll run over to the staircase and peer down. So as you peer down, um, there is just this wash of uh, flies. Uh, and you think you can see a, a shape of a person who's kind of looking down the staircase. It looks like he was just about to come up. But that's your full okay. move. Yes. Sarah, um, the brute dribbles at you as he clutches his uh, thigh bone in his hand. How far away is he? Um, you can smell his breath. It is strong. <laughs> so he's in radio distance? Oh yes, oh yes. He was going to smack you if he hadn't have failed his uh, his willpower test, but he was like, holy fuck, what the, what's this? Then I'm going to take two attacks and lightning parry for an extra three parry. Um, so no, what happens is when you pick up a uh, lightning parry as a skill, you get a second parry uh, automatically. You don't need to declare an attack as a parry. Um, but you have oh, to use okay. it. But you have to use it on a separate attack. You can't parry the same attack twice. Um, that's the way I home. The way okay. I brood then it. I'll make three attacks. Sure. Give me three attacks. Uh, one second. Let me just check his size. So I know that counts. Uh, he is a normal size. He's just strong. So yeah, just flat. Or with your the bonuses of the weapon, if it's uh, of best quality, then it will give you uh, its bonus. So, uh, let me just check if he has anything. Nah, not all. Oh, hang on. No, it's the brute. Uh, he just has beast jewel and can. Yeah, he, he didn't get very good mutations, to be honest with you. He will parry with his thigh bone. Uh, he parries one of them. Oh, hang on. They are fast. Oh, I had to go so fast. Yeah. he would be on 31, so he would have failed. So can you give me all three as damage? Human thigh bone. A human thigh bone wrapped in rotten flesh. Ooh! So I think you gave me one too many there. But the righteous, <laughs> the righteous was uh, one of the ones that counted. So, do you want to go on to the click on righteous fury and uh, see if Ulrich is going to gift you some more damage? Wait, target number is my uh, your uh, flat weapon my... skill. So oh, what's your flat you. weapon skill? 76. 76. So you would have got it if you want to roll a couple more times to see what the uh, damage would be. Because you might get another Ulrich. <laughs> so if you just roll Ulrichs again until it, uh, until it kicks in. Because I know you would have just... succeeded on your on the one because you got a forty six, so it would have succeeded. So if you just keep rolling it, it will eventually roll the you damage. You could just target the hundred instead this time. That's a guarantee. An extra four go. damage. Okay. Uh, so you do nineteen on that strike. So let me go through his health, and I will tell you if he's dead or not. 
I don't think he's dead. I think he survives this just. Maybe not. So as you slice him, uh, trying to go for the vital parts on his arms, trying to slit, um, trying to cut, well, no, slice with your uh, with your rapier, with the tip, trying to cut into his uh, arteries and veins. Um, as you come round to do your third strike, something just tells you, something whispers in your ear to just flick the end of your blade as it comes round and your blade just slices straight into his neck. Deep red blood gushes out um, as he falls to the floor. Right. Can someone roll, uh, Casp, uh, Geddy, roll me a uh, heads or tails, please. On heads, he goes down the stairs. On tails, he goes backwards. Ah, oh, tails, he goes backwards. God damn it. He falls backwards onto the floor with a, with a colossal doom, which makes the floor shake and dust is brought up from the, from the floorboards. Hmm. This well, is there a lot goes different the than playing Livia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Viciara. Uh, I'm going to take a deep sigh and say, "Oh, fine. I'll go into. Now go. Stand in line. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't fly, and I don't think I, I should keep bombarding the building because once is good enough. Also, tiles probably fell off the roof." Time. Sorry? Do I get it? <laughs> you can always try and do it with doing quick and rocket jump. Fireball on the face. <laughs> I wish I could do that, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, you would have noticed that a number of tiles fell off the roof and almost hit you when you when you did that. It's probably yeah, you might not want to carry yeah. it on. It's fine. I mean I don't want to bring the building down, so So I will play Ragnar as truthfully as I can to how Ragnar should be played. Um, he barges past Sarah, muttering something like, uh, impressive work, Hungi, um, as he charges the other creature uh, with his Hellbird. Uh, I'm guessing he would do a smash. No, no, he'd do a stab. He is charging. Makes more sense to do a stab. Uh, so he gets a plus 10. Uh, yep. And he strikes it in the head. Even hey. though he's not here. He's still... Oh, hang on. There should have been a minus 10. I did put a minus 10 on. Sorry, Odu hits. Um, yes, I did put a plus, uh, minus 10 on, rather. I think I did. Yeah, I've way with a thirty. He would have hit, regardless. So the creature with the uh, with the flies buzzing around it, it did bring out a cleaver, so it is going to try and parry. It it fails. Are we going to see a righteous? Even though he's Probably. he's technically not here. No. No, oh, hang on. He should have got. No, no, no. I gave him that. What is all of this? It has fury, cleaving. What is fury? Cleave. Oh, it has a <clears throat> rune of fire. Well, I'm not activating that. Let's not go doing that. Uh, no, so I think he just does 13. Which, no, no, it's the, it's the hammer that has the uh, impact. Gotcha. Okay. So, over to the creature sheet. Because I they don't have that much health. Uh, okay, it's not dead. It's not dead. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet, but soon. Um, Derwin, um, you're up. Derwin. Do you mean Brunden? Oh, Brunden, oh. that's the one, sorry. Brunden. 
Sorry, I've only heard the name like five times. Give me a break. Um, you're up. You can basically, because of the structure of the building, you can charge up. And I'll say that you can get into combat with the mutant. But you'll be the last one. Like you're on the corner next to Ragnar fighting it. Right. Um, what's the best move as a melee? Uh, well, you have to charge if you want to. If you want to hit it this turn, you have to charge. You can move into combat with it. Then. Cool. So that's a plus ten weapon skill, please. Well, uh, weapon uh, attack. So you strike it. Unfortunately, it cannot dodge or parry as it's already done that. So please roll me damage. Uh, you not when you charge. When you're actually in combat, then yes, you do get it. Um, but not when you charge. So I'll tell you now. It had one health left. <laughs> um, so as you bring your warhammer up, it it doesn't matter. It had one health left, Albi. Um, it as you come round and charge it. You can see that Ragnar is retracting his uh, stabby end of his hellbird from its face as you come round and just warhammer fuck off straight into the chest. Um, it probably his body probably like flies up and kisses the ceiling before it just hit comes back down with a vengeance from gravity. Um, it is very much dead, and you don't hear any more creatures within the building. So combat has oh. been ended. You should have done this right from the start. All right, I want to make my way downstairs. Look at the uh, the cacophony of bodies at the bottom of the staircase and go, "Hey, good job." Uh, there's a cupboard over here, and I walk immediately over to the uh, the dresser that I saw. So, can everyone give me a search chest a search check? Uh, with a plus ten. Can you also give me a perception check uh, with a minus 20? Um. Uh, I got a fucking three on my. You know what? I'm gonna spend my first three roll on this since they're about to expire anyway. <laughs> perception is minus 20. Yeah, yeah, I'll re roll the search test. Uh, what was the minus from perception? Minus 20 to the perception. Who? Oh, two thirteens. Well, fuck. <laughs> I succeed at perception with uh, five, six degrees of success and the search with nine degrees of success. No, eight. Okay. Eight. So, Cedric, um, as you go running over to the chest, going, oh, there's something in there. Um, the floorboards give way. Uh, you go to fall through the floor um, to the basement. Um, give me an agility check to try to grab onto something. There is a minus 10. Uh, if someone would like to try and grab him, there is a minus 20 agility check. So, uh, agility minus 10? Yes. I got him. He yeah, grabs I'm hold of part of the, the floorboard. I do actually have climbing gloves, so that would have helped. Um, do, 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 do. It will help with climbing back up. Um, but okay. where you were like falling through, this is quick reactions. Did you grab hold onto something? Alright. So okay, there's a there's a there's a crack. Um, Citrix's like, well, I'm all right. Uh, I'm okay. No one tried to reach for you, Cedric. Um, they all just stand there, kind of looking at you. Uh, mm -hmm. You may, uh, actually, you can just succeed at a climb test and uh, heave yourself back up. All right. Uh, can I actually peer into the basement to see what's in there? It might be sure. pitch black, but I do have night vision. Sure. As uh, as you uh, look down into the basement, you just see blackened bones and skulls staring up at you 
Oh, great. You get the feeling this is not going to be a nice place to uh, to rest in. No. Um, I do have to ask something while I'm searching. Do I find any rugs? Uh, you will find out soon. So, uh, let's go down and see. Unfortunately, that's not enough. Uh, Black Hand, please give me a 1d100 and then a 1d10. Will do. Carla, please give me a 1d100 and a 1d10. And Lysiara, 1d100 and 1d10. Okay then, so going from Mr. Black Hand. She had Black Hand, a one. Oh, sorry, not, not Black Hand, it's actually, it's actually a different dwarf. It's a dwarf. Oh, never mind. Bed. I'm looking at the wrong book. That's why I can't find what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, as you start searching the uh, property, uh, you find a set of light armor. A full set of light armor, which doesn't seem particularly special um, until you actually look at the lever. Um, this is the finest leather armor you've ever seen crafted. Um, and coming from a, uh, a d well, actually, no, you're a, you're a, you're a surface dwarf. Um, give me, uh, law, common law empire, which you should have. Everyone has it. It's basically your common knowledge. Uh, just give me a second. Was we in writing it down in the Common knowledge? Yep, common knowledge. You're not quite sure what's so special about it. Um, there is insignia on it, and it does look incredibly fine. Um, but yeah, you just can't seem to uh, to put your uh, your finger on it. Can I claim the letter part, or is the one set? Sorry, can you do what with it now? Can I only claim the letter part, or is it all interwoven? No, it's full. It's a full set of leather armor. So, so you take the whole set of leather armor. I, I don't expect you to take it apart. There's just something about the leather that. Oh, I thought it was cloth with leather, not the only leather. No, no, it, it's it's normal leather armor, just of the finest quality that you've ever seen. Cool. I guess I can swap my leather, put it in the cart, and then equip the finest leather. Yeah, your comrades might be okay with that. The idea being that everything's split equally among among the party. I'll keep it in the cart then. Uh, if you if you want to try and like quickly take your armor off and put this armor on, um, for one, it doesn't look like it's made for a dwarf, um, which you which you didn't even ask about. Yeah, it's it's definitely not dwarf sized. It's oh. human sized. Uh, I mean, my dwarf likes probably has opinion of dungies. I mean, you can, you can get it tailored to fit you, but at the moment, yeah, it, it's too large for you. I just put it in the cart. Uh, who was next? It was Carla, and she got a one at one point. Uh, in fact, quite a lot of ones came up. Uh, so we're going to 84 on the list of goodies. Oh, you, you might be a little bit disappointed. That's my secret cabin. I'm always disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that's actually quite sad. Oh, actually, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, can I get a... Can I get a 1d5, please? From you, Carla. Okay. Um, and now can I get a heads or tails? Or a 1d2? Call it heads or tails. <laughs> okay, so as you, um, as you open up one of the boxes, uh, at first you think you found some chain mail for one of the party or you know to sell but then it just keeps on coming um it's wrapped in a oiled hessian uh, cloth and this thing's ginormous it's it's huge and then you start realizing hang on are those legs um you have found uh braiding uh horse armor uh half male armor for a horse um, I found the whole armor DLC. <laughs> you? Uh, it oh. weighs an absolute ton. Like your tiny childlike arms can oh. barely get it oh. out of the box. Um, it weighs oh, three hundred and fifteen. Um, three hundred fifteen uh, encumbrance. Lug it into the corridor. I can lift that with my fingers. Holy shit! I so put, put, imagine this, the mental image of me is Carl is still flying, she's just dragging this along the floor to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Reminding me of the fucking cherub model. Sadly, kind of there is no, sadly, there is no cart. You didn't bring it with you. Um, you can add it to oh. the cart, but you guys need to remember the weight of things. Because obviously, if you start going over... Then it's gonna be more difficult Rumble you getting out. Volunteers oh, don't get it. Uh, see, if we don't have a card with us, I'm kind of questioning whether we should bother bringing it at all. Hey, two oh, of our groups have horses. The dwarf scan surrogate escorts. We have enough. I'm getting. pretty sure that only counts for equipped armor. I mean, I have a thousand carry weight. <laughs> thousand shit. carry weight. How? Uh, he's a dwarf. dwarf. If you click dwarf. on, if you click on, I'm a fucking Casper's a vampire, and he only gets up to like something. Again, dwarf. He dwarf. gets up to like okay. three hundred plus. So we go on to an interesting table now. Um. Uh oh. So, uh, Lily Anna, can you? Um. Sorry, Alicia. Oh, so oh. I, would, I would I would have to be dropping now. Is that okay with you guys? Sure. That we're basically sure. doing the loot, and then the uh, this group's journey will end, and the other group will take off. So, uh, it is a hundred and fifty XP. Hey, hey. forever nice. for both characters. Uh, no, just for. Oh, hang on oh, a minute. Yes, no, for both characters, but your other characters can't spend it until. They've had a session. We're at 9,000, boys. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Yeah, mm. soon we'll be able to say it's over 9,000. Sorry. <laughs> Great, you made a Can I get okay. a 1d3, please, uh, Lissiara? Uh, d3. That's a 3. Can I get a 1d9, please? Uh, 1d9? 6. Okay, and then can I get a 1d60? Okay. 50, 60. 44. This is... Okay, so um, as you're going through some of the boxes, you find an extremely thin box. Um, you crack it open, and uh, inside, in canvas, is an art piece? You're not quite sure if it, it, it's an art piece? Gotta cock my head to the side. Can I do academic knowledge? 
something to check. I do have. Oh, heraldry sorry. Actually, and genealogy. actually, can we? Can we have to go back a moment. This this chart was laid out very oddly. Um, can I get one d hundred instead? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it's got it's got two sets of certain things. So, twenty-two. Oh, that that um, that I seems a, better or worse. That that seems a little cruel, to be honest with you. That seems a little cruel. Um, I tell you yeah. what, we'll we'll add the numbers together. We'll add the numbers together. We'll go sixty-six. That seems like a, a good number to go for. What Gale's got is that? Oh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't help you. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait, no, because I got you to roll a one d six. Let me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, Wait, nine. you. Oh, I should have got, me roll a d six. Actually, should, he had me roll d three, a d nine, no, 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 a d six. No, a d nine. Um, I had you roll a d nine. It should have probably been a d eight. So let's just re move you over <laughs> one. <laughs> Look, do you want me to start all over? Okay. No, 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 no. I just, I just need to get rid of one of the numbers. That's all. Uh, so we go to this one, and then we go to a sixty-six uh, on this line. Okay. So you find a, um, you find a rather fine, um, a rather fine ring. Uh, oh. I will tell you in a moment if it is. Yeah, we'll say it's a gold ring. You find a gold ring. Okay. Not quite as good mm -hmm. as the uh, art piece, but you, you find a gold ring. It's, uh... Honestly, I wanted the art piece, but gold ring is still a gold ring. Does it I'll have anything on it? No, I'll tell you the value of it. It's uh, it's a thirty. Go it's a thirty crown, so a thirty gold piece ring. I mean, I have a value if you want me to put over. Uh, technically I can use this for my stuff, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Because the more jewelry I have, the better I am, actually. And not just for the bling. And sadly, that's all you find. You, you, you find ah. no more. Ah, shit. If you want, you can spend another hour looting the building, but... You should be made aware every search roll is an hour. Okay. Uh, so there was nothing in that chest I saw, or is it like I can't reach it now because I fucking fell to the floor in front of it? You didn't find anything. Uh, when you oh, okay. when you uh, rolled your search check, you were like, oh, look, a chest. And that was what the plus 10 was, that there were, uh, there were items in this room that looked untouched. So you got a plus 10. Oh. All right. Uh, but as you opened them, you found that there wasn't anything in there, so you were very sad. God damn it! I kind of want to stay and do another search test because the plan, the initial plan of you know go around and find shit. I have oh, a find shit. Hang on a minute. But at the same time, I have, plan one more, going I have, I have one more. I have one more person mind. to do. One more person could oh. find the group loot. Who oh, I forgot about? Poor Ragnar. Poor Ragnar. The 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 forgetful child. Uh, he succeeds, so he doesn't fall through any uh, any holes or traps. Uh, and then he does a search with a plus 10. Uh, so he does indeed find uh, something, because he got enough degrees of success. So if you're wondering why some of you got to roll and some of you didn't, it's a degrees of success. You need to get three degrees yeah. of success to actually find stuff. So I believe I need a 1d100. Oh. Oh, he got a natural 100. Well, that's good. Uh, is it? Yes, it is. It is very good. High, high numbers are good. We like high numbers. Uh, okay, we like them high. And then I did a 1d... You like high numbers and we shouldn't? Or? No, no, no. Genuinely for looting, high numbers are better. But any numbers will give you the possibility of loot. Um, it's just you've got more of a chance with uh, 19 above, I believe it is. Uh, 90 parts of 80 as well. 
So I think it's actually 80 and above. Uh, so what one am I going for? I want to go for this one. And it took me to the wrong page. Beautiful. So again, I believe like Lissiara, I want to go for a 1D3. Yes. And I got a 2, I believe, much like Lissiara. Okay, so now I need a 1D100. And a 1d8. Oh, that's 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 too sad. That's too sad. Some of this chart makes me very very sad. Uh, let me give you another 1d hundred. I'll be kind. <laughs> Like the, the bottom part of this chart is just really depressing. <laughs> it's just like I don't I don't want my players to go through that. Yeah. What did he find? Oh, so originally like Jim and uh Ragnar would have found like one of them would have found an art piece for like four silver, uh, six silver, one of them would have found a, a sculpture. A sculpture. Yeah. Sculpture. Um for one silver so I just think that's that's kind of cruel that's kind of cruel so let's uh, do what I did with Jim and add them together okay so and then he got a three okay so it's Ragnar who finds an, an art piece But again, has no idea what uh, what it's worth. And uh. I think um, what we will do uh, is we will end the episode off there. And then next time uh, we will go over... Well, we'll give you guys a chance to, uh, to catch uh, Waldo up. And if you want to do another search in this area, we can do that next time. And then uh, we'll move over to the other group. Because you would have spent three hours plus the moving time at that point. Okay. Um, so they will be very much on their way into Mordeheim. So we'll find out what they find uh, as they go on their merry little adventure. So I do apologize about internet fuck ups that caused this to be now be a two episodes that I'm going to have to put together okay. at one point. But um, I certainly hope that you all enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to the future episodes to come where we will be diving ever deeper into Mordeheim and we will be unlocking more quests as we go or as the team goes. So I certainly hope you have enjoyed and are looking forward to what comes out of the dumbass class next. Take care everyone and as always, bye bye for now. Bye. See ya. See ya. Bye.